Today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black. And uh, we'll start with Tesla. And yet another accolade for them, uh, this one in the safety department. Yeah, they got a 5.4 star rating oh. for safety. Um, ultimately, because it's an electric car, they don't have the gasoline engine in front. They have a better crumple zone. But it's more than that. It's super high quality. Congratulations to Elon Musk. Um, getting this type of safety rating is important. The quality ratings of driving tests have been very, very high. Um, they've only sold very few vehicles, 5,000 of its flagship vehicle. Um, so they got a surprise profit in the last quarter. But popularity amongst high end buyers. This is a vehicle that's doing very, very well. The stock is way ahead of itself on a one-year basis, but on a five-year basis, it's probably pretty cheap. And is the question, I guess, is can they continue to up production? Is that gonna be the big issue for them going forward? I think they are, and you know what's interesting about this? The Model S, it's really not a year car. They're not saying the 2014 Model S. Interesting. Um, so they can, they don't have to change the designs all that often. They change with the technology, generation one, generation two, generation three. And typically when you do that, you do get smaller, cheaper, faster out of technology. So there's upside here for uh, the car manufacturer. And uh, they beat SUVs in a safety test. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, very. Let's talk about the housing market and a big rebound. And I guess one of the side effects is we're seeing a lot of apartments now go condo in San Francisco. Yeah, we went condo. Um, rental back to condos. So ultimately, developers in the Bay Area, whether it be San Jose, Oakland, Emeryville, San Francisco, uh, they went from boom to bust to boom. Uh, some condominium complexes opened at the worst possible times in a downturn. So they said, you know what? We're going to rent these buildings out. Now that home prices have rocketed back up, they're saying, you know what? We're going to kick the renters out and we're going to sell all these units. Uh, 125 unit Broadway Grand in Oakland. Um, they've got 17 units originally sold, then they, went then they went rental. Now they're down to the last 11 units for sale. They typically run anywhere from 185,000 to 480,000. So it's more affordable than a single family home in the Bay Area. But um, it, to me, this feels like, why are they, why are they doing this at the, after a big run? Why couldn't they have done this when it was more affordable? They're doing it because they're gonna make more money. Um, and you as the other side of that bet, the consumer buying it, be cautious. I was talking about Netflix and the Los Gatos company uh, with another deal now, this time with the Weinstein Group. Is this a winner or a loser? It's a winner, but it doesn't really take effect until 2014, 2016. So it's a ways off. Weinstein Group, um, they have got great movies out there. Uh, long story short, this just makes Netflix more and more like HBO. There's more product that we want. Right now, I think most of their product is, in my opinion, probably best suited for children. Um, but they do get Disney and they do get the Avengers and they, I like what Netflix is doing and they're making it more and more appealing for you and I to cut the cable cord. Uh, if not for cable channels, we'll keep the internet and stream it to our Netflix uh, d powered devices, whether it be an iPad or tablet, or TV, whatever it is. It's, they're being smart about it. And finally on to Google and Google Glass, do you think we're ever gonna see this hit the market? Of course. <laughs> so they've got 15 of them out, 1,500 of them out there right now, the explorers as they refer to them. Um, what's interesting to note is it, they said 2013 and their press release now says 2014. They're just readjusting timelines. I like that they're delaying it because if the product's wrong, you get one strike with the U.S. consumer and you may never get a second strike with the U.S. consumer. So they're being patient about it. The, the facial angle versus the watch angle, Samsung's coming out with a smart watch on September 5. Um, we're still waiting for Apple to see what they do, but wearable technology and the technology that allows computers to be bendy and glass to be bendy is pretty new. So they got to get this right and taking your time is the right thing to do if you're Google. Yeah, it looks like it may be worth the wait. Thank you, Rob. Yep. And you catch Rob Black segments in the Chrome 4 Morning News as well as on our new app and our 24-7 Bay Area News Channel. We'll be right back as the Chrome 4 Morning News continues.